So for this question, we're asked to calculate the magnitude of the couple moment exerted about point O. So you really have two different options for approaching this question. One option is that you could sum moments about literally any point on the diagram, but the center one would make sense. And if you sum them, it would be equal to the resultant moment. And because you've just got the one couple here, um, it should be equal to the, the, the couple moment that you're looking for. The other option that you have is to apply the equation for a couple, which is that the moment is equal to the force multiplied by d, which is the separation distance between those two um, forces. So that's the approach that I'm going to apply right now. So the force is pretty easy. We can see that it's equal to 300 newtons here. The separation distance is the one that's a little bit tricky. So if we just used it as the 300 uh, newtons straight away, the separation distance we're looking for is like the shortest line you can draw between these um, two. So it's going to be something like this. Now, unfortunately, we're not given that dimension straight up. Um, you could go through and solve for it, um, but it's going to be a little bit tricky um, in order to find it. But nonetheless, it is possible. The other option that we have is rather than using the separation distance with the 300 newtons, what we could do is break it up into components. So we could have a component that's running like this, tangent to the circle, and that's going to mean that the separation distance between these two forces is equal to the diameter, and that's quite easy to calculate since we have the radius of the circle given. And we would also have a component of the force that would run um, toward the center of the circle. Okay, so it's just resolving this one into the two different parts. And what we would find is that these two uh, forces here that point directly toward each other, their separation distance is going to be zero. So they're not really not going to contribute um, to the couple moment. So that's the approach that I'm going to take. Let's go ahead and substitute into this equation. So the force that we need is the force along this direction. And we should be able to get that from the 25 degree um, thing. So if we draw ourselves a triangle, we want this length. So it's going to be 300 cos 25 to get the force along here. And then we need to multiply it by the distance between these two forces, which is going to be the diameter of the circle. So if the radius is 300, sorry, 160 millimeters, the diameter is twice that. So that would be 320 millimeters. The other thing that you would normally think about is the direction that your couple moment is creating. And you can see that these two forces here um, together are going to try and rotate this thing in the clockwise direction. So that means technically it should go in as a negative. So when we solve this in a calculator, it comes out to about negative 87005. And the units, the force unit we used was newtons. And the distance unit that I used just here was millimeters. So the only thing to do now is to correct it for the answers, which are all in newton meters. So to go from millimeters to meters, you need to divide by a thousand. So that would make it about negative 87 newton meters. So the last thing was that it asked for a magnitude. So that means you just need to take the positive. So the magnitude, which is what these bombs mean, is going to be 87. So looking down our list, that is an option. So that's going to be the answer to the question.